you doing? My name's Scott, and my mechanic, Jeff, told me to come in here and talk to this computer. He said, uh, say it's the midweek message and then share some kind of a tip or something. I don't really know what he's talking about, but the only thing I know anything about is root beer. So I guess I'll give you some kind of tip on that. It's summertime, which means it's time to have some root beer floats. And so the only thing I can say about that is, first of all, use good ice cream. All right, don't use that blue bunny stuff. Use something that's really good, high quality. You can't enjoy these too often, so make it good. And then when you fill up your, your glass, make sure you don't put too much ice cream or you're not going to have room for your root beer. By the way, I don't really believe in Coke floats, Dr. Pepper floats. It's got to be root beer, all right? But leave enough room in there to make sure that you can mix together, but not too little to where it's all runny. Nobody likes that. And then when you're using your root beer, make sure, this is really important, make sure you chill it first. You don't want to put warm root beer in there. It's going to all foam up and... It's not going to taste very good. So make sure you chill it, pour it in there. Enjoy your root beer float like I did last night. Now, here's the thing. You might be wondering, hey, where do I find Hires? Now, you need to know this, that Hires is the oldest root beer company in this world. However, if you're like me, I went to the grocery store last night and couldn't find it anywhere. So sorry about that. But here's the thing. Don't tell my boss this, but I just got something else. And... Uh, and I got something that's actually way better. So I would suggest Frosty. This is good stuff. Chill it. Pour it in with that ice cream. Enjoy. And uh, no guilt. All right. Just enjoy it. Hey, after doing some kind of tip thing, I guess I'm supposed to tell you a little, little bit about what's going on at Smoky Point Community Church. And so, uh, hey, as you notice behind me, this last weekend, there was uh, we did church in the field, and it was awesome. So thanks to all of you who came out and, and enjoyed that and, and you know, worshiped together with us. I know it was a little bit weird. You know, we were kind of separated. We were wearing masks and all of that, but it was beautiful weather. It was a great time to just worship together. I loved hearing your voices as we were worshiping and, uh, and just hanging out and enjoying. Everybody had great attitudes being together, and so I loved it. If you missed it, I'm sorry for that. I know there's been a lot of questions. You know, some people... Uh, saying, hey, is this kind of the new normal? And, and we, we tried to communicate that that was sort of a special weekend that we were doing that, and, and we are going to do it again. Uh, but we're not doing that every single week. There's a lot of factors that go into uh, how we do our services and everything from you know, all of the setup that's required to you know, scheduling ahead of time. We have to adhere to you know, no more than 100 people when we do our outdoor services. There's weather to contend with. And we also have to think, frankly, about our neighbors, you know, one of our neighbors who's right there next to us uh, had the uh, wonderful privilege of hearing our music going from 8 o'clock in the morning till, you know, well afternoon. And so we just want to be thoughtful about our neighbors and thoughtful about uh, how we do our services. Also, for those who, many who watched online, many more who, than who actually came, watched online. And on a week like this, uh, as you notice, the video and the sound was not quite what you're used to. That's just because we were filming outside and all of that. And so we just want to you know, factor all of those things in uh, as we try to uh, bring the best, most effective ministry as we can as a church in your life. So um, last weekend was awesome. It was great to be together. If you missed it, I'm sorry for that. However, I do want to let you know this, that we have another one on the books, another plan to do uh, an outdoor service just a few weeks away. So on Sunday, August 2nd, uh, we're going to be doing some outdoor services again over in the field. So just like before, we need you to sign up because we have a maximum of 100 people. We're going to do three services, and if those fill up, we'll certainly add another one. But the plan is right now to do three. In fact, you can already go online and start signing up and be a part of our outdoor services in the field on August 2nd. So we're excited about doing that together. Uh, I, I know this is a weird season. We kind of thought that by... You know, mid-July, we might be meeting together inside, but as you know, um, things are slowing down uh, in terms of uh, places opening up and, and moving through these phases. Uh, we're going to be able to meet indoors together in phase three, and unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be stuck in phase two here for a little bit longer. So uh, let's be patient. Uh, we're, we're doing our best to try and serve you as a family and, and gather together. So August 2nd, we're going to be doing another outdoor service. A couple weeks after that, we're also going to be doing another one of those uh, campfire worship nights. And so you can find out about that as well.
looking forward to doing that. Also, if this last weekend you didn't have an opportunity to participate as we uh, give out school supplies, specifically backpacks and, and, and new underwear and socks, you could still do that. You can go online and, and get those, or you can bring them by uh, and uh, drop them by uh, the, the church. And, uh, and you just need to let us know when you're going to come by and do that. And uh, we have some kind of specific hours when people will be around here. And we can take those. So I just want to encourage you to do that as we continue to seek to, to serve our community as we enter into this summertime. And uh, I, I do want to share a couple of things with you. And that is this, uh, we're going to beginning, be beginning a series this coming Sunday uh, on the book of Psalms. In fact, we're, we're calling it Summer Psalms. And so for the rest of the summer, each weekend, we're going to be talking about a different psalm. And, and I love that because it, it's just so raw and real. And there's everything from uh, you know, struggling with what's going on inside to worship and praise. Uh, and I love uh, what, what, so we're going to have a huge variety this summer Listen to the Psalms. By the way, this coming weekend, we're going to begin that. And this Sunday, we're also going to be participating in communion. And so just as we've done before, it's going to be done in your homes, but we're going to be doing it together separately. So I want to make sure that you know to prepare the elements, you know, have some, some bread or some crackers together, uh, so, something to drink so that you can uh, yourself or with your family partake in communion. By the way, you know, you can still have a few people over, you know, according to, you know, where we're at right now, you can have, you know, up to five, you know, people come over to your house, do a watch party this Sunday for church. I would encourage you to do that. It's going to be awesome. And you can uh, partake in communion. So we'll do that this Sunday. Make sure you're prepared for that. But I do want to read to you uh, one psalm as we kind of uh, go into this week and as we begin this series. And it says this, be gracious to me, O Lord. For I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. It's one of those psalms, many of them, uh, all throughout the psalms where the psalmist is just crying out and saying, God, where are you? I'm languishing here. I'm struggling here. And, uh, and God, I need you to come and save me. I need you to help me in this time of trouble. And we, we see many psalms written about this issue. And, and I think that it's very timely for where we're at right now. There might be some of us, maybe you're watching this right now, in this whole season of COVID and all that's come with it has sort of worn on you as the time has gone by. And you've been struggling internally, maybe with some uh, deep discouragement or, or even um, anxiety or stress, or, or, or maybe it's even slipped into a place of depression. And, and you feel sometimes like the psalmist, just saying, God, how long is this going to be? And where are you? I'm struggling on the inside. And I want you to know I recognize that. I've been talking to people in our church family, and I know that some of us, uh, whether it's financially or relationally or or just personally, maybe, maybe this is just all triggered things that bring up, you know, past things go, that have happened in your life. And I just want you to know I recognize that. I understand this has been an incredibly stressful and challenging season. Uh, I, I identify with that. I know that myself. My own emotions have been up and down during this time. And there have been times when I've said, God, what in the world is going on and where are you? I need your help. I'm languishing here. Well, if you're in one of those places and you're really struggling to know what do I do at this point in my life, I want to encourage you. Uh, there's a great website that would give you some resources, some articles, some things that could be really helpful for you, especially in the areas of just kind of your, your mental health. You know, just and, and, and that's not a negative thing. I mean, we all need to be healthy in every area, and mentally, spiritually, physically. And uh, there's a great website. It's called HisHeartFoundation.org. His heartfoundation.org. And uh, you can go in there and uh, there's lots of articles uh, and you can look up specific areas maybe where you're struggling. It can give you some help and encouragement. And I just encourage you to use that as a resource. Not only that, but obviously bringing and, and casting your cares before God and opening yourself up to some other people. It's okay to say, hey, I'm struggling right now. Uh, I, I need some encouragement or I need some prayer. I need some support from others. So please reach out 
I know this is a challenging time, but God's got something through this. Even through all of this, I believe that God wants to do something in us and through us. And so I pray God's blessing over you. I look forward to seeing you uh, on the screen this weekend as we dive into this book of Psalms and as we remember Jesus through communion. So God bless you, church. God still has this, so let's keep walking with him. Have a great week.